Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the official operator reveal for Operation Ember Rise. We'll be breaking down who the operators are, how their gadget works, and their weapons. But before we continue with that, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot, plus you'll always have more Siege videos to watch. Now let's begin. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the new defender, Goyo. Goyo comes from Mexico and comes with the Vulcan Shield. Now this is its own special shield that looks like and acts like the new deployable shields except for one huge difference, the big giant fire pack on the back of it. Now what this basically does is if the pack is shot or the shield is destroyed a huge area of fire will be unleashed. Now this area of fire of course damages all operators in its radius whether they be attackers or defenders. Basically think Capitao's firebolt but as a trap. Now there really isn't that much to it. The shield can be snapped to doorways and has the bulletproof windows on it. The pack can be shot by anyone to be triggered or if the shield is destroyed say by sledge, ash, sophia, a capcan trap or a frag grenade the pack also detonates and creates the field of fire. Other than that it should be mentioned that Thatcher and Twitch can't break it with their gadgets and the IQ cannot see it with hers. He also comes with several weapons of course because you know he's an operator he's got to have uh, weapons to shoot with but uh, the only ones mentioned in the video are the Vector 45 ACP which is Mira's SMG and the TC SG-12 shotgun which is Kaid's shotgun. Now this means you can either run a decent SMG or a slug using shotgun with incredible damage and range but with bad recoil. Really it's a personal preference thing but uh, yeah he has some decent options. Moving on, we have Amaru, the newest attacker that comes from Peru. She comes with the Gara hook. It's basically a grappling hook, and I'm just going to call it that because it's easier. She can use it to grapple up and through any repellable ledges and windows. It's pretty loud, destroys the barricade. But she also can use it to go up and through hatches as long as they're not reinforced and as long as the hatch is already destroyed. Now, it's important to note a few things about her hook. For starters, it looks like she gets 4 uses of it with a short recharge time in between. If you look at her ability throughout the video, the highest number of charges is 4 and you can see a circle indicating the recharge time. Also, after grappling onto a ledge or hatch, she has to land before she can pull her weapons out, meaning she's extremely vulnerable the few moments after she uses her hooks. Finally, she can't grapple below her. She can grapple completely horizontally, but not below. And castle barricades completely counter her. They must be destroyed before she can grapple through the window. As for her weapons, it's revealed that she can use the G8A1, which is IQ's LMG, and the Supernova Shotgun, which is Hibana's shotgun. The only secondary that we see in the video is the ITA12S, which is Jacqueline Mirror's secondary shotgun. Meaning she can probably run the G8A1 as her primary and have that good decent range, and use the ITA12S to break any hatches so she can grapple up through them. Now that's going to be it for this video. I want to hear from you all. Do you like the new operators? Which gadget is your favorite? The Vulcan Shield or the Gar Hook? And which operator will you be maining? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege videos. I'm the Battle Moon and I will see you in the next Siege.